I mean, I think people will probably get, guess what the outcome was by my response. Um, I, do you know, I haven't cried all day either. Like, I cried for a little bit when I was tall, literally like five seconds. And then like when I told my mum and dad and my sister, like I cried literally like for five seconds then and then and I had to like, I felt like I was strong for other people. Um, but unfortunately, I've developed, <laughs> I've inherited the faulty gene. Um, do you know, I literally haven't cried all day and I've literally just sat in the car and sobbed. Um, well, this is the reality of it. Like, th like this, it, <sighs> my phone just went off. Like, there's no sugar coat in it. Do you know what I mean? Like, mm, I don't know. Um, what set me off was so. Um, we've been out shopping this afternoon. Went to the metro centre, which is um, like a shopping centre near us. Um. We went for a wagamama, went for a curry, um, and it was actually really nice. And like the menu had the word positive, or like like in big bold letters. And I was like, this like this is meant to be. Like I'm support. These are the cards I've been dealt. Anyway, more about the point appointment. So that's what people want to know. Sorry, that was <laughs> me sniffing. Um, yeah, I went into the appointment and she called my name. Obviously, I've been seeing her for years. There was a um, trainee genetic counsellor in there. She told me straight away, like, I'd barely even sat down. And she was like, Charlotte, I'm really sorry. It's not what we hoped. Um, you've you developed the faulty gene. You have a CAG repeat of 44, which is obviously um, an, quite an average score for somebody with Huntington's disease. And um, and I was like, OK, that, that's fine. Like, And then I realised I'd have to tell my mum that. And then it... I kind of came over with emotion and then I was like no Charlotte this like stop this is what it's supposed this is what's supposed to happen like these are the cards you've been dealt like it's fine like you'll get through it um and like I didn't cry for the rest of the appointment like we just talked like and she was like Charlotte like if anyone can get through it you can like she was like I've been seeing you a long time and, and I know how strong and like how you face these things head on and I, and I told her I'd just been away with the HDA on a youth weekend um, because obviously like I've been away in London with the youth voice and I'm going I'm speaking at HDO Congress in two weeks and I was telling her about that and like she was like Charlotte like you'll be fine like this is going to take a lot to process like it's a big thing type thing anyway See so you in a few months' time. Um, I'm being signed up to HD and Raw, which is like a research platform. And then, like, I just felt really sick after that because I knew I had to tell my mum. Um, I texted my dad to tell him that we were on the way. I didn't tell him the result. I just told him we were coming, and I wanted to tell him in person. Um. And my dad told my mum we were on the way and like what would like that I was being gone through the testing process and stuff. So like she already like had a bit of an idea and when she opened the door, like she knew straight away. I didn't I didn't cry, but she'll have known by my face. And she like stood there and she and like I said, Mum, I'm really sorry, it's not good news. And she just screamed and she cried and she was just shouting, I'm so sorry, like I'm so sorry. And she I knew she would feel like that, like it was all her fault. <laughs> and she was like, and then my sister was in the house. My dad like kept it together. But then obviously like did get quite upset. My sister was in the house. She's normally at uni and it's really weird that she's home at this time because I'm so glad that I got to tell her in person and like that she doesn't have to deal with it on her own at uni. Um Yeah, and then um my sister came downstairs and like I was like, sit down. And my sister was just saying, not you as well. Like, it's so hard. HD is really hard for families because you already know what's coming. Like, you've seen, you, you, for a lot of people, like, you've seen someone suffer for like 10, 15 years and you've seen them die. And then, like, it's like, it sounds really awful. I can't even say it. It's like almost like a conveyor, but like, you, you're just constantly grieving in different ways. 
Um, and she just was crying and saying, not you as well, not you as well. And she was like, oh, God, I feel like I'm getting really upset now. <sighs> but this, like, genuinely, this is the reality of it. Like, I've been so, like, I said to my friends, I feel really, like, stupidly positive. Like, and I knew, like, it would be of an evening that I'd get really upset. Um, what set me off was I hadn't actually looked at the piece of paper that says, like, I have it. So, obviously, this piece of paper, like, it confirms it, like, it's in black and white. And, like, the, the piece of paper says, This patient has one CAG repeat within a normal range and one CAG repeat within the Huntington's disease affected range in the HTT gene. This patient has inherited the expanded uh, something from her mother and therefore will develop Huntington's disease in the future. And then it says, um, I have one CAG repeat, which must be from my dad, and that's a score of 16. And then I have one from my mum, which is obviously 44. Um, and then it says normal is between within 6 and 26, and then something else between 27 and 35, and then like it's the grey area between 36 and 39, and then obviously HD affected range is 40+. plus. Um, she did say it was average and she thinks it was quite similar to my mum's. My mum doesn't know for certain, but she thinks like her CAG is 44 as well. Um, but yeah, that's just how many times the gene repeats in your, the protein repeats within your gene. Um, and like what makes, like, oh, I suppose what causes Huntington's disease is that my, like that gene the protein is repeated too many times so then like obviously when i'm of an age where i develop symptoms like like it like basically messes up i don't know i don't really know the exact science i'm really not very good with science um but it, obviously my brain just will yeah different parts of my brain will shut down over time um yeah i feel so this is a seven one minute video i probably have to cut it down but yeah, this obviously isn't the um, outcome that I wanted. It's, it's what I expected, though. Genuinely is what I expected. Like, I feel like I've had an inkling my whole life since I've found out. Like, I just know. I've just known. My mum said the same. She said she knew. I've spoken to quite a few people that say they just know. Um, and I'm not saying, like, if you feel like you have it, if you're at risk, like, you definitely do. That's not, like, that's not the case. But, like, I did go in there, like, expecting that to be the outcome. Um, I suppose you just always have a glimmer of hope that you're completely wrong. Um, but yeah, I called my friends, my best friends first. And yeah, it was awful. Like hearing them cry as well. Like I feel like that made it. Yeah, I don't know. Like it's obviously really nice that people care about me that much. But yeah. <sighs> HD sucks, but yeah. It chose, um, yeah, I suppose it chose a bloody... I don't know. It's not going anywhere without a fight. I know I'm not obviously getting rid of it. But, yeah, I'm going to do everything that I can to use it in the best way possible and, like, help other people with it. And it's going to inspire a lot of things that I do. Um, and I'm sure I'll do... it. Like, this has happened for a reason. I keep saying this. Like, I have been dealt this card by God or whoever for, like, for a purpose. And I'll I'll find out what that is. I'll know what that is, um, but right now I'm really trying to stay positive. I know it doesn't look like it, but I literally haven't cried all day. Um, I think it's just like seeing it, reading the piece of paper is quite, um, yeah, I don't know. But yeah, thank you for watching.